The national account figures published yesterday carry great news for our community and very bad news for those in the Senate for whom mining is a dirty word. Australia's balance of trade surplus is now at a 10-year high, just over $10 billion in June, up from $9 billion in May. Every dollar of surplus is one dollar of growth for the Australian economy, generating jobs, economic security and making Australia more resilient. Every $10 increase in the iron ore or coal price adds $1 billion to government revenue. Overall, metal ore exports reached a record high in April of $16.5 billion. $16.5 billion in mining exports in one month. Consider all the employment this is creating, the breadwinner jobs, the families supported by individual labour rather than by government handouts. Investment in mining is an investment in our future security. It's that simple. Iron ore is now at $154 a tonne and coal $171 a tonne, both against budget projections of $40 a tonne. The government has a windfall here. Copper is up 23%, steel up 24%, nickel up 15%, cobalt up 57%. Our mining recovery is broadly based and sustained. This revenue must go in part to building Australian infrastructure, which is our future. And in part, paying back our profligate deficit caused by temporary COVID measures that now somehow appear permanent. Yet Labor and the Greens are telling miners bad luck because both want to ban any new mines and extensions of existing mines. Their policy will devastate the economy and the government revenue base. Entire communities will be reliant on government welfare and any rules imposed on them in order to keep those benefits. No wonder the Greens and Labor hate mining. There will be none of this supporting ourselves under a government Anthony Albanese and Adam Bant lead. We are one community, we are one nation, and mining will keep us free.